Libra, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the weekend of July 24th through the 31st, 2017. The cards I am using today are you know, Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish, and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings. And if you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. All right, so I've seen some cards, and it made me feel like somebody feel like their kids or their partner kids are violating their personal space, and they're sick of it, okay? All right, what's going on for Libra, Libra, Libra? July 24th through the 31st, 2017. Mm. So this is basically saying whatever you think they're doing, they are. All right. July 7th through the 24th, 2017. July 24th through the 31st, 2017. All right. 21st. Jesus. Everything about this week, uh, my readings this week, is about sex. Okay. So, this is all about sex again. I mean, I swear, all of them. And then all of them have the four swords, starting with my Cleo cards. Wow. This is my Aquarius reading all over. So, it seems like somebody is leaving somebody because of sex. Maybe they're not getting sex, or they feel like their sex is whack. Okay, you don't love them. I guess when you don't love somebody, the sex could be worse. Like when you love somebody, no matter how bad it is, it's good because you love that person. But when you don't love them no more, that is bad. Okay. Okay, so some secrets getting ready to come out. What are these secrets? What are these secrets for the Libra? 7, 24 through 31, 2017. All right. Two cards. Mm, somebody think about leaving because somebody is violating their personal space. So this could be part of what I said earlier, you know, somebody not controlling their kids. Or they trying to control you too much, going through your phone or uh, following you places, little crazy stuff like that, you know. That's the reason leaving, or that's the reason you're leaving them. Mm, okay. So... You want to leave, but you feel like it's an unwise decision. Why do they feel like it's an unwise decision? What is this about for the Libra? Why is this not a wise decision? Two cards again. Ooh. Okay, so apparently this person, even though you don't love them, they make you feel good. Yeah, they make you feel good and they make you feel powerful. I think it's not in a sexual way, though. I think for some of you, it might be a sexual way. But for the most of you, it's not. A, it's, it's just like this person makes you feel like you want to. They treat you like you want to be treated, but you don't want to be with them. For some of you, because the sex is whack. But some of you, you're sticking around no matter what, whatever. Okay? Yeah, I'm confused, too. It's like some of you are leaving because the sex is whack be because you don't love them. But some of you want to be with them <laughs> Whew, because of the sex, but you don't love them or they don't love you. But it's like the real issue is like somebody's violating the personal space. It's like I can get over the whack sex, but it's just like. The violating a personal space, but this person treats you like a queen or a king, but it's still like the stuff that they do and making you not like them. You know? I don't know. Let me know if this makes sense to y'all because it's mind-boggling to me. But it's telling you to keep going. Maybe you need to just talk to them about this situation. You know, maybe uh, you can fall back in love with this person. 
I mean, they do treat you like you want to be treated. You know, I feel like maybe you just discussed it with them right now. Yeah, that could be the reason. Let's see. One more card. Then we're going to do the Cleo cards and see how that works. All right, so what well, this person makes you feel good? I mean, I feel the only thing I see wrong is this space violation. And then this person treats you like you um you need to be treated, but you want freedom because you don't love them. But it seemed like I don't know. It seemed like you only don't love them because they violating your personal space. This is, let me know, because I'm, I'm lost here. All right, so somebody feel like the other person ain't opening their heart, you know, but when somebody is violating your personal space, it's kind of hard to, you know, or letting their kids run all over your stuff. All right, what's going on for Libra, Libra, Libra? What's going on for Libra? January, I mean, July, July 24th through 31st. Oh, Jesus. Mm, yeah, somebody done. They trying to stop. They're done trying to work hard for this situation. I can't talk for anything. They're done trying to work hard. Look like I saw done fight fighting, and they made their choice. All right. Oh, somebody trying to rebuild from a tower. A crazy event. Like I mean, maybe somebody caught somebody going through their phone or something. I don't know. All right full card okay wow there's a lot of love here and then i don't really see any cheating but you know i don't know i just see violation of personal space going on all right so we got the full card full 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 oh that's all the way in the front all right the full says Carelessness, unwilling to listen to others. Mm, yeah, that makes me think of kids right off the bat. Like, they don't care. They just run around doing all kinds of crazy stuff. All right, so then we have the Ace of Cups. And it says, a gift is coming to you, something that you have been wanting. You may find a new relationship, friendship that will fulfill you. Things are looking very good. Ooh. So maybe you guys are leaving to be with somebody else, but I still don't feel like it's any cheating going on. Okay, but maybe it is, but it's not saying it in the cards. All right, Knight of Coins, what is this about? Um, progress blocked, uneasy to move, uneasily movement, and boredom. Okay. All right, let's see what this eight of staffs say. Eight of staffs. Reverse, this says envy, internal struggle, and guilty conscience. Oh, so I feel like maybe some of you have been thinking about cheating. And I feel like you guys just want to leave because you're sick of this person, kid, or animals ruining your place or your ruin just messing up your stuff but this the person makes you feel good it's just the things that they're connected to this making you feel like you don't want to be there and you start breaking away you start pulling your heart away so the love is gone they want you to open your heart but you can't because of this situation that they letting happen to you on the other side which is making you not want to have sex with them but it's like okay you know it's like you stuck in between a, a brick and a hard place. I think that's what they say. You know, you want to uh, be with this person because they make you feel good, but the things that they're dealing with make you feel bad. So it's like, I don't know. It's like a toss-up. So just let me know what you think. Um, if you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Um, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs, and have a wonderful week.